I'm here with Andy Lee from Datapath, and we're going to be talking about command and control centers. These applications are generally shrouded in mystery because, you know, sometimes they're part of the government, you can't really talk about them. So I'd be very interested to kind of get your thoughts about how this sector and how command and control applications are evolving in Asia Pacific. You sound like my marketing department always asking me for case studies and we, we struggle obviously because of uh, the uh, secure nature of a lot of these these sites. But I think uh, from what we were talking about previously, they are um, expanded in their variety. So, you know, it, it might not just be a defense or some secure site now, it may be a corporate uh, area or a corporate body that is having some kind of control room so i think at least in in my region I, i've saw the uh, the variety of these uh spaces expand over the 10 years that i've been at datapath yeah um i i can confirm that as well because a lot of indian case studies from the corporate sector that come to me have nocs and command centers built in which you know points to the same fact that you were talking about, that the application and the places where these command centers are being built has expanded out of government and defense. Um, speaking about India, right, what are some of the trends that you're seeing in that particular market, right? Like it's a really big one. It's a really important one. What are, you know, their proclivities for products and, and solutions when it comes to command centers? Absolutely. Uh, I think the... Uh... In terms of the take up of the, the tech, it's taken a little bit longer for us. So it's been more of the traditional um, hardwired control room. So more of your capture card based uh, systems. And then over the last 18 months, it's been a bit more of a slow burner into our overall, uh, you know, the bigger solution that we've got, the Atria solution. So more IP based and having the ability to have a, a network solution as part of their overall IT infrastructure effectively. Yeah, uh, Asia Pacific's not only growing, it's maturing as well, yes. right? Like the appetite for these more complex, more modern applications and products is beginning to arrive. Um, what has Datapath been doing in the region in terms of education and, and you know talking to the guys who are out there in the field creating these command centers um how has the uptake been for the education that you provide on you know how to build effective command and control centers yeah it's a great question i, I think it's, it's really important obviously we we don't have an office in india so so we're relying on our our partners uh, which is mindstack our distributors who have an experience center there so we've helped them kit out that experience center over the, the last uh, two or three years to have all of the latest uh, data path solutions in there. So then they can bring their, their partners and end users to see what, what they've got in combination with, you know, the, the recent developments of screens, LEDs, projectors, so they can get a good feel for not just our part we can make ours look look great in our own environment but with somebody else's and see how it's going to look properly when they're going to install it uh, i think that that's been a real game changer for us is to be able to get an experience center there so we're not just relying on exhibitions which obviously have their place and we are involved in but once or twice a year um is not ideal compared to having a a year round experience center which we do have now yeah of course i mean it's always better to be able to you know go down at your own schedule and it's always better to see the products in action rather than you know in a presentation or on a on a spec sheet um you spoke about trade shows uh they are extremely important they do provide a chance for the entire industry to come together are you going to be down in mumbai for infocom india I will be. Yeah, we we're just looking at, at visas and things yesterday. So yeah, we'll um, we'll be there. We've been there for with Mindstech for at least the last four or five years, and we've shown Atria that this will be the third year in a row that we've shown a full Atria solution with a big LED wall 
couple of operator workstations showing the KVM side of things as well. So yeah, we'll have a, a really good setup there on the MindStech booth. So yeah, looking forward to that. Excellent. Andy, thank you so much for your time. No problem. Thank you.